Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of just briefly, I probably will make a more detailed video um, at another time, but briefly just touch upon this new YouTube thing that's happening. Um, and the reason I'm saying I'm briefly going to touch upon it is because I haven't really been um, I haven't really looked into it too much, so I only know what I've seen from videos, so I'm not well versed in it. Um, <clears throat> but from my understanding, basically, if your channel has to do with mental health, um, basically, in essence, you're not, you can't be monetized anymore, which, honestly, I think probably most of the channels that are doing, <laughs> like, a channel for a mental health reason or recovery, mental health, um, I really doubt that their primary goal is money. Um, I think, you know, my my goal in my channel is to document my journey and to hopefully meet people who are sharing in this journey with me and as well as I hope that somehow, some way, my channel can serve as some type of inspiration or encouragement to somebody else battling what they're battling and in that there's nothing bad about what my channel represents um what upsets me a lot with this new uh like law put into action by youtube is that people who are under 18 are now not able, you know, like they can't necessarily view um, my content. And that's what upsets me the most about this entire thing. It's not anything more than the lack of conversation that's already occurring. And to put a damper on the conversation that actually is present and it's actually happening and to say, sorry, we don't accept that anymore for anybody who's underage, that's, that's seen as inappropriate, um, is really kind of disgusting to me because we're all about, you know, not where I, obviously I don't even want to use the word we because that's such an all encompassing word. And obviously, we is not a word that could be, include YouTube, but we um, aim to end stigma against mental health, against eating disorders, and mental health disorders. And by putting this out there that you can't be, you can't view um, any material presented if it has to deal with mental health um, or eating disorders is just, I just can't understand it. I can't comprehend it because it's a conversation that needs to be had and people are actually gaining the courage to have that conversation and then to have that snipped and cut like it doesn't make sense to me eating disorders are serious issues and by hiding it from people who are underage isn't going to hide that the issue exists all it's going to do is increase the shame that, exi that exists with it and it's our role as humanity to further the, the social like justice of people. And one of the ways to do that is to end stigmas, to end stereotypes. And there's just so much wrong with what's going on. I don't know where to put my main focus. Um, I mean, we all know that the main, you know population that eating disorders affect are people who are under 18 and at least the onset of it is under 18 and so 
I just feel that if you are not letting somebody who's under 18 view content that they could relate to, that they could find hope in, then you're only increasing the shame and you're only increasing the loneliness of having this disease. The disease is already such an isolating thing in and of itself. And to add another isolating factor onto it is the last thing that we need as a community. And I am really just taken aback by YouTube's non-progressive ways. And I hope that by enough people speaking out on the topic that we can become more progressive in our movement and hopefully YouTube can become more progressive and hopefully the word we can truly mean an all-encompassing we and that would be including YouTube and I am I don't even know how to monetize videos so I don't care um, but I just want to say that I'm not leaving and I'm gonna keep this conversation going until YouTube kicks me off of my channel entirely. Um, you can try to silence me, but trust me, I will not be silenced. I'm going to keep sharing and screaming at the top of my lungs about my eating disorder recovery because recovery is proactive and it's progressive. And if it can give anybody hope and anybody encouragement, then my job's complete. And I don't know. I don't have anything much else. I don't really have much else to say. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research. And then I'll probably make another video. This is actually longer than I expected. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, thank you. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> You're so mean to me. Um, she's gonna go again. <laughs> You're so mean. I love you. I love you so much. You're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go. This video is longer than I expected. Um, so the next video will probably be just as long as this one. I hope you guys are all doing well. Keep having this conversation. Keep it open because... If we don't do it, we certainly know YouTube's not gonna not gonna help us. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.